So I ordered this new heater from Four Patriots and it runs on the canned heat. It's a certain kind. What kind is it that you can use inside? What's it called? Um, I don't remember exactly. I took it out of the box, but we haven't opened it yet. I can't remember what the term was that they used that you could get for it, so you don't have to buy these. Oh, cool. That's very nice. Made in the USA. Um. That's partly why I bought it. And just to have a backup heater if the electricity goes out. So I can't remember what these are called exactly. And I don't have my glasses. But these are six hour can heat. So you've got a six hour runtime in each of the cans. Not a total of six hours. And I found the cans somewhere else a lot cheaper than they had it for Patriots. So I just got the two that come with the Instafire Vesta. And here are the cans of heat. These say extra hot on them too, which is kind of cool. All right, so those are the cans. We haven't opened this box up yet. We just opened the big box that had this and this in it. We expect this to be a, uh, a heater that runs off of these, but it's also a cooking surface. So if you do lose power in a place like where we're at, where there's snow and cold, you can heat and cook, which is a big thing, especially if you've got family and pets. It's packaged nicely, everything I've seen so far. Heat a room and cook without power. Off-grid indoor space heater, compact and portable, weighs less than nine pounds, warms up to 200 square feet with heat-powered fan, fueled by canned heat, safe for indoor use, built-in stove, cook food, or boil water. No electricity required. Okay, you want to pull it out? The six-hour cans, just to throw in there, the ones that we found online, you could get, I think it was like 24 of them, a case of them for like... 48 bucks or something somewhere in there they were a good deal but through four patriots it was like a hundred dollars for 12 cans or 24 cans a much better deal than going propane too propane is through the roof right now and electricity is steadily going up it's packaged nicely also right after i purchased it i got a message from four patriots offering a three thirty a free 30 year warranty so if anything goes wrong they will replace it within 30 years for free and that was at no extra cost it was just something you had to sign up for after purchasing this unit um i've seen them online mostly around 150 some for 120 i believe i got this one for 99 wasn't it I don't remember honestly what you paid. I can put the price it in was the description. Than that, I okay, it says to pull out the snuffer. Is that the snuffer? I don't know if that's the snuffer. It does say pull out something. Pull out snuffer. There is an arrow right there. And that's step one. I don't know. There it is. Little thing on the bottom that just releases, it looks like. I don't actually think it comes all the way out, or does it? I will find out. There's your snuffer. I guess that makes sense. Uh, step two, pull out canned heat tray using snuffer. There, pull out tray using snuffer. That helps. Um, how you do that, I'm not sure exactly. Even I could do this. Yep. Nice. like it can take up to three cans at once for different heating levels. Got a one, two, and a three position laser etched in there. Nicely done. Better than stickers that'll wear off. I didn't read step three, sorry. I will that was also, right, remove heater unit. I will also include where I found the cans of heat. Super cheap. 
I believe it was on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Oh, is that a grill top? It's the grate, yeah. And everything feels fairly heavy, heavy duty. Like this grate is heavy. I like that. I think the u total weight for the unit was like close to eight pounds. It said seven on the box. Seven point something, I don't remember. So far, the space heater and stove, some more directions. Heater assembly, stove assembly. Yikes. Usually should never don't usually what's the proper thing. No, I don't use directions all the time. He's a man. What do you expect? So the cool thing about this is it doesn't just heat up this top thing. That's just the first steps. This, this top thing doesn't just heat up and radiate heat. It actually has a heat generated electric fan in it that kicks on to blow the air out so it's a forced air unit and that's how you're able to heat 200 square feet with it i'm gonna guess that this comes out and there's your fan and motor i'll put the snuff tray back in i'm, I'm guessing here because you know So there's your snuff tray. I don't see what that there's do? actually a front or a back. What did you I just, just put, put the in? snuff tray back in. Oh. Or, or the can tray, not snuff tray. So you would open those up, light them. I don't know if there's a special way, because I'm not reading as far as placement, if there's a correct location for them or not. I would think spread out would be ideal. And that goes under the, the tray, so it's in there pretty secure, which you wouldn't want to be shaking around when it's on fire anyway. You go flick, light them up, and this thing would go... I think there actually is a direction for those. It hooks under. There's two tabs here that are going to hook under something. And I it think goes that way. It's going to go on the other side of it. So those tabs would go in there, and then it just tips down like that. So when it's heating, it heats up the little generator that spins the fan. There's a heat sink on it, and that fan blows it out through the little radiator here, which distributes it to your room. And where do you cook? On top of it? When you cook, you lift that off, and there's your grill. Nice. So you've got essentially a two-burner grill here, one for each side. Cook, you know. It's not going to accommodate a huge pot, but a small saucepan. You could even put a bigger tray or a bigger pan on the entire thing. Without well, electricity, you could do your meals that you need to add hot water to. If you're like us and you've got a little bit of supplies built up in case a storm or whatever, we've got a few weeks of food that we can use this to cook with and most of the stuff you buy that's survival food or whatever they call survival food or emergency food takes water and heat to make so if you've got a source of water in one of these you're good to go if it's cold out and your family's cold you all gather in the same room fire this up make your food when you're done with your food you set your heater on it and you've got six hours of heat per can yeah so when you're cooking the fan's not on there to blow it it's just this part we can try and light it if you want and see how long it takes for the fan to activate. It's supposed to take a couple minutes to activate. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm doing it wrong. I'm supposed to use this. What'd they call it? The snuffer? The snuffer. So. Looks like we've got kind of a wicking material in them. I've never dealt with these, honestly. I played with can heat a little bit when I was younger, but we did buy some extra cans just for a backup before we ever got this. David right made right. a homemade stove where he could use it to oh, cook boil water with when we were camping. That's cool. The flame's invisible? Yeah, that one's going. That's hot. I mean, if it's dark, you'll probably see it, but it took a second to get it going, and I couldn't actually see it. But that one's hot. This one? Yeah, oh, it is really hot. 
I told you it was hot. I thought you were just going to do one of them. I want to see. There we go. So you got to be careful as far as that goes. So they're both running. That was really hot. You set your heater on. You want to use the heat. Oops, other side. So it goes on the side that says caution hot. You tip those tabs in and tip it down. Now, in a few minutes, this should start kicking out heat and actually blowing it out forcefully. I figured we'd try to just to heat it up as quick as possible so we don't have to take the extra time. It's supposed to take like two or three minutes for it to heat up enough to get the fan generator blowing. Sorry, this video is getting long, but we did want to go into detail with this stove because we've never had one and they're fairly new to the market. So I don't know if there's a lot of reviews out there. I kind of wish that one would have stayed at the back more, but we'll see what happens. I should turn it this way and you can film straight through it to watch the fan blow. Okay, so I stopped the video so you didn't have to wait the three minutes for the fan to start going. As you can see, it just started a minute ago. You can see the fire, it's pretty high up. Um, and it's pushing out a lot of heat. It's working really well. So again, this weighs on here, it says nine pounds. Um, and it's the InstaFire Vesta space heater and stove self-powered indoor you have to get a special kind of canned heat i don't remember exactly chafing what it is fuel. chafing fuel is what it's called um i will leave the link in the description below where i found it cheapest and it's going to be less than 50 dollars for 24 cans where on four patriots website it was over a hundred dollars for 12 or 24 cans i think i don't remember um, and then I'll put the link where I got it. Um, they're running about $150 online, but I got it for $99 with the two cans of heat. Um, and then after I got it, they sent me an email saying that I could um, click a link to get the 30-year warranty for it. So if anything goes wrong within 30 years, they'll replace it for free. I'm getting really hot standing here, so I'm going to... I'll give you an idea how much it's actually blowing. A lighter below the fan or outlet isn't moving much at all. Blows the lighter out. It's surprising how much heat is actually coming out. Yeah. We will do a video very soon on cooking with it. So we'll shut the heat down here and we'll do a cooking video and let you see how that goes. Thanks yeah. for watching. Thanks for watching.